Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel and we have a video today We are going to be talking about why this promo is really freaking good so far um, We're going to be talking about a lot of things in this video prime icons uh, Just a lot of different things are going to be discussed in this video, but what I want to start off with talking about is How amazing this promo is now. I have been playing FIFA uh, For like five years uh, well, no, sorry, that's a lie. I've been streaming FIFA for five years. I have been playing since, like, FIFA 11, and Footmas is a promo that uh, is usually super, super high in demand by the community, and obviously, we lost Footmas a year ago. They stopped doing it. Um, last year, we just had, I believe, Freeze, and then now we have, uh, we just have the, it's called Winter Wild Cards, right? Now, this is what this is called, and to be quite frank with you guys, this promo is incredible so far. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Obviously, you guys probably watched my videos from the last two days. I kind of already talked about a lot of the new cards that came out that are obviously in packs and how actually so many of the cards are usable, which is awesome. Uh, today, we actually got three more cards added in uh, into packs. Now, obviously, a couple of these guys are super expensive uh, because it's the first day, right? So so a lot of these guys are really overpriced because of the, the day one effect. But yeah, I mean, a Luka Modric card, 85 pace. 91 dribbling, 84 defending, 72 physical, 92 passing, 80 shooting. Um, and the dribbling is just crazy. We've got a very usable Luka Modric card. It's a very nice card. It's actually crazy to see him at 800k because I think if this card came out all as good as he looks, he looks exactly like Prime Chavi. Um, if his SBC was more than maybe 400 or 500k, I would be like, what is this company doing? But it's amazing to see that his price in the market is actually like, he's actually got demand at 900,000 coins. Now, we got a really other cool card uh, too that's Jonathan David. And this card looks amazing. I actually don't know if I did the right uh, rating here. No, he's extinct. He might be extinct. No, he's not extinct. But he was getting uh, sniped earlier at 130k. I think he got a price range update. And he's selling. He's uh, Is he selling or is that a lazy bid? I think he's actually at this price right now, which is not surprising to me, although his inform is very cheap. Um, but the upgrade is pretty big. Yeah, 181k. Uh, the upgrade is pretty big. Now, inform Jonathan David was very good this year. And the reason why... Was he had a, a silver, uh, not a silver stars boost, but he had the, the team of the week boost and he got, you know, that kind of double upgrade. So then this version just even more cracked, right? And this guy got, you know, eight acceleration, which is really, really nice. Seven finishing, seven attack positioning. I mean, the shooting got way better. The dribbling got way better. His balance got plus nine. Um, and even, yeah, just even his dribbling is a lot better too. So this is an incredible card. I love this card drop today. I think this is an awesome card for EA to release. Luca Bacchio, I'm not as big on, but again, like link wise, it's nice. I think it's cool that he links, um, he links with Mbabu because you could do four through three with that uh, SPC that we got. Uh, I think it's so uh, we could have him out. So yeah, I guess what I wanted to talk about is like I wanted to talk about in the video, you know, why this promo is so good because of quality over quantity. Now back in the day, we used to get three footmas SPCs and. The only downside with this promo so far has been that everything is leaked, right? That's obviously, like, disappointing because the, the nature of Footmas has been, like, you log on, you don't know what's coming out. It's really exciting. You get three players a night. That all went away in FIFA 18 because I think from FIFA 18 onwards, everything was leaked. Um, even 18, 19, I think they had leaked, like, the whole team um, before it even came out. So they never – EA only changed a couple of players, so it really wasn't amazing. Um, whereas, like, right now we have some leaks for these teams – I feel like not every player is getting leaked in the right way in terms of like people thought Zaha was going to be five star, five star, he's five star, four star. So I think there's a lot of unknown with us, some of these kind of weak foot upgrades. We don't really know all the the um, the work rate upgrades, which is nice. Like, you know, I didn't know that Kingsley Coleman was going to be uh, work rate updated. They're doing a lot of that, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to talk about again, I talked about like Zaha is such a good SBC. And I think the biggest win of, of the whole promo is before we even get into the players so far. Like, EA are dropping daily uh, SBC packs with a token, right? This token system, in uh, on the 26th, you're going to be able to uh, basically put in your swap token and uh, trade it in for, like, a, a pack. I'm going to do the 15 token option, which is 8510. Um, but this is awesome because not only with these token SBCs are EA, you know, giving you the token, you know, they're doing, like, an 80 squad, a 70 squad, right? Not more than 10K. And, like, today, for example, was a 55K pack, which is, like, it's just unheard of, man. Like, this is the kind of content that we were getting during Black Friday that was just so incredible. Um, and, like, you know, what I think is really cool is that EA is dropping loans every day. I think this is awesome. And, like, three games isn't enough to, like, break the game. A lot of people always worry about loans because they're like, wow, 
you know, this is going to break the game. This is too overpowered. Not everybody can have this card. It's not fair. And I think in a way they've absolutely smashed it because I think three games is really enough, uh, you know, to kind of feel out a card and see how he is. Um, how does he play? Does he fit your play style? I think the biggest issue with three games is if you run into people that are rage quitting. But obviously, if you really want to get the full test with the card and unlimited tries, just save the last game of the loan. Uh, and you guys can use them in friendlies. That's always my best recommendation of something that you can do. You know, today we got a Pandev card, which to be honest, you know, on the market, I don't know how much he would be worth link wise. I think he'd probably only be 40 or 50K. But, you know, at 57K SBC value, uh, you know, you can, this card is very craftable. It's going to be nice for objectives. Dude, the dude is an absolute living legend. Uh, high, low, four star, four star. And just honestly, like incredible finishing stats. Now, is this card going to be meta? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I would say no. But then I, again, I go into Division Rivals and I get killed by Flashback Murata. So what do I even know these days? I, I just came off a of 12 and 6 weekend league. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, you know, this card, it's going to do a job for you. And I, and I think there's a level to like these SBCs that are coming out right now. They're all being like affordable or grindable in some way. Like you look at this card and you're like that, you know, for 60K, is that worth it? In my opinion, it's not. But, you know, with a couple of fodder, you know, items in your club, you're knocking this down to 30K, something like that, right? And it's craftable, especially if we get an upgrade at some point this week with the way EA are doing it, right? All these players are available for six days plus from their release date. You know, let's talk about Jabril here because this guy that got released yesterday, I'm in love with him. I think he's incredible. I tried him out today. I was so impressed with him. Like, for me, this is a must-do. And when we take a look at how much his loan cost me, 3K. How much does he cost on the, on the SBC cost? 92K. Right. So like it's it's crazy in terms of the value because you know, sometimes in the past, right now, as is with this promo, I think it's better than Footmas. We're getting bit better daily SPCs. We're getting better quality SPCs instead of just three. There's been some times with Footmas that we cut we get to the end of the promo. There's only been four cards worth it. And not only that, the cards were like three hundred to six hundred K. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, you know, all these are affordable, man. Like this card is 150k the hundred K Zaha is 150k. I already spoke about Zaha, so I am very much like really appreciating the greatness to this promo so far, and I really hope it continues. Tomorrow as well, it, you know, it could get spicy because tomorrow we've got Czech, Petit, uh, and Roberto Carlos, and Luis Hernandez expiring. So we've got four icons expiring. So I'm expecting some new SPCs tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow's going to be the start of the Prime Icon SPCs. Now that Primes are all out, we'll talk about those in this video. There is a chance that maybe, maybe just maybe, it's going to be the start uh, of some prime SBCs. So that would be awesome because getting some primes in the club last year, I had uh, a lot of games played with Nedved, a lot of games played with prime Kaka. So I'm excited. And I hope that we would start to get, you know, some of those cards into the uh, club. But really what I was just kind of looking back to guys was like, I was making rant videos, man, towards the end of footness, like uh, in FIFA 20, I was making rant videos, just kind of talking about how bad the promo is. Um, and they were very like, they were very agreed with like 5,400 likes for my channel is a lot. Um, and I've grown since that point. So this was a lot of people at the time thinking, you know, th this is for this promo's killer, right? They, th the same card, Luca Bacchio, that on the first day with better stats right now, right? This is the perfect example here. The same card, again, as I, I'm saying right now on day one with better stats is 50,000 coins in the market right now in the first few hours, right? And this card was a worst card release and was 130K. You needed an 85, an 84, and an 83 for this card uh, when Footmas came out. And, you know, that's, that is that is kind of crazy. Um, you know, we had this Kevin Malquick card. I think this curve is almost 200,000 coins. Uh, I'm pretty sure. He was at least, oh, he was north of 100K. A three-star, three-star, high, medium, city out right back. I mean, you go into the market right now, guys, you could get a Spinozola card with five-star skills. You know, yes, in a way, this is due to the market just generally being cheaper this year. But in another way, it's because we're getting better price-pointed SBCs. I personally feel this way, right? You could even get Malikovich Savage for cheaper you know, or around that price, I think, of that SPC. Although he might have only been 120K. I can't remember too much. But the point for me is, yes, EA did also drop loans. You had uh, one-day loans. But the point for me is that I, I like the accessibility of this promo. I like the whole swaps program. I liked it. Like, if you're logging in, you're doing these easy, easy daily SPCs. It gives you a reason to go on FIFA. Uh, it gives you reason to kind of grind away. You know, maybe there's actually, like, a further incentive to go ahead and... Uh, you know, do this objective this week. At least for me, there's actually been a consideration after I spoke with a couple of you guys on Twitter today. You know, you guys told me that people are leaving. Uh, and it's a lot of you guys really like this car. You told me he's really good in game. So because there's also a token in there, I might go ahead and do it because look, there's going to be 24 tokens total. Um, <clears throat> I want to grab the 8510 with 15 tokens, but then I'm going to have nine leftover tokens. And maybe I want to grab a player. Maybe I want to get something unique. So, you know, for me, 
uh, there's actually a little bit of intrigue here. Um, even when I go back and I look at like my even older videos uh, on FIFA 19, right? When I look at my team, and yes, right? I got a 30-0 with Firmino. I got a 30-0 with Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, these cards were like huge for my club. They were absolutely massive. Um, but when we take a look back at it, um, you know, this Iniesta 88 rated, uh, four star, four star, you know, yes, it's, it, it's an interesting card, 84, 90 chem. Uh, and I think fodder was a lot higher at the time, you know, just in terms of the players that we were getting, like a medium low four, four, six, two, 81 pace, 87 shooting Mario Balotelli. It's just not a great card. Is it right? It's just not a great card. So that's why at the moment I'm, I'm a big fan of the quality over the quantity. Because right now we're just getting quality cards. Yes, Akanji was, you know, interesting. But I believe for that 82 rated squad, I think this card was a lot of coins. Uh, 85 rated. And I think at the time, that was very expensive. Uh, from what I can remember at the time, I think he was, you know, a decent chunk of coins. I don't know if, if Flippin still has, uh, maybe Flippin still has the information for us here. Um, FIFA 19, we're going to go here. How much was this SBC? It's only 95K, to be fair. But it, just in terms of like, you know, right now, yes, this card would be interesting, but again, like lower rated at the time of the year, 82 rated is very low. Um, and, and, you know, the defensive stats, 76 interceptions, it, it's a, it's a fast card, but with low jumping, right? And you got to think in terms of time of this is FIFA 19 with 82 jumping at 76 heading accuracy with most people doing L tornadoes and crosses, right? Like this is not a great card, uh, at, for this game, um, and the way that it plays. So yeah, I just felt like for me right now, like this promo is actually killing Footmas every year since FIFA 17. Uh, FIFA 17 Footmas was very good. Uh, the promo was amazing. Like there was the only difference was that at that year, we didn't really know what was coming out. And so that would be like the main difference that I would look at right now. But I mean, other than that, you know, this is, an, this is a fantastic promo. And I think it's important to talk about the greatness of promos when they are good so that the people watching my video, maybe that do work for EA, they understand what we're looking for in a community, right? We're looking for daily engagement, right? A reason to log on. I feel like if you're from EA's perspective, if you're giving out a 55K pack, but it's untradeable, you're not really impacting the market, right? As long as they keep the packs uh, untradeable, that's not a bad problem, right? Obviously, I understand, guys, like when EA drop a 50K pack that's tradable, that's going to kill the market, right? Because the whole entire uh, community of, of people, you know, they, they go on and they do it and then it just kills the market. So that's obviously not super ideal. Um, you know, a couple other things to talk about, um, really quickly is we do have some leaks for next week. I'm not going to go through all of them because I know a lot of you guys like to be excited and you guys like that surprise and, and so do I, but the main leak that I thought was really cool that if any of you guys are, are watching this video that I wanted you to know about Eden Hazard is coming and apparently these are his stats. Um, and this card just looks like an absolutely phenomenal cam, man. I, I loved his gold card in the beginning of this game. So I am very much looking forward to Hazard's card. I think he'll be really, really, really good. He's supposed to be coming out. And then I think uh, we're supposed to get a lot of uh, a lot of SPCs. So the, the daily SPCs are going to continue. Uh, that is 100%. It obviously says in the main menu that we're getting these daily SPCs until December 26th, which is the day after Christmas. So that's a week from now. Um, Team 2 is going to be this upcoming Friday. And then that should go to PAX probably on December 26th or 27th. I don't really know uh, exactly when yet should go out of packs on that date. Um, but it, it's very exciting, guys. It's exciting times because there's something to log on for every day. Not only is there a daily player, potential objective every day, a potential, you know, wildcard token uh, slash, you know, 55k pack uh, included in there, which is just, you know, it's just vibes. I believe that Awar is supposed to be coming out. Uh, Awar is supposed to be coming out tomorrow, guys. So that, I think, is the next one. Or if not tomorrow, it should be out on Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow would be Monday. You guys are probably watching this already on a Monday, though. And he's obviously, we talked about him in my video the other day. Very, very meta card. Very popular. Um, guys, so let's talk a little bit about Prime Icons, right? I had kind of spoken about those coming out. Um, by the way, I did an 86 plus upgrade, guys. And if you want to see that, it's on my Twitter. Um, <laughs> it went, it, it was a very interesting result. So, guys, in terms of the Prime Icons, like, it's 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 incredible to me. So I I'm my biggest strength as a trader, uh, well at least the time where I probably trade the most or have the most fun is with the primes when they come out and the moments, right? I love trading these new cards because they're very rare. I try to pinpoint their demand and I do really well with them. So last night I probably made a mil and a half to two million coins trading them. For example, right? I bought a llama at 1.1, I sold them at 1.45. I bought a Canavaro at 1.1 and I sold them at 1.4. I bought a couple soul Campbells at 550, I sold them at 660. 
And now today, I can't believe it because overnight, I got stuck with a bunch of icons, right? I had a Blanc at 101. I sold him at 850, right? He's 800. Like, these guys are just dying. Um, it's insane. Like, last year in the trends of the Prime Icons, the way that it worked was they were actually cheapest on the first day. Usually, they go really low on the first night. They go up like crazy for the next couple weeks. And if you look at the price differences from this year's Prime Icons to last year's Prime Icons on release, it's insane to see. Like, it's actually insane to see the prices of the, the difference of these. Like, Soul Campbell last year, 900k. Right now, what's Soul Campbell on this game? Let's take a look. It's just crazy. It's it's actually insane how cheap these primes are. Uh, he's about 700. But just generally, like, most of these guys are half the price that they were last year. I mean, Lam is half the price. Lam was a new icon last year. But some of the losses that people are taking, I mean, I, I'm not, it's not to call the guy out. I have a guy that literally watches me that told me he has a couple of Grinches at 4 mil, 3.5 mil, and, and he's 2.8. And he, this guy's not even selling. Like, back in the day, Grincha was 5 plus mil uh, for weeks, right? I think, like, last year for weeks he was this price. So it's pretty crazy to see, like, the, you know, whether it's the lack of demand. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are watching this video. Like, if you, if you why are you guys not interested in these Prime Icons? Like, from the market's perspective of looking at these cards, it's incredible because, guys, as I was saying, Yesterday was a huge day for my account. I'm like, woo, I'm getting back into trading. Like, I haven't been trading that much. I've been really working on content. I had the day off. I was like, okay, I'm going to spend an hour or so on the app, trading my cars, watching some sports. I made so many coins on the Prime Icons. Lost them all overnight. Like, maybe maybe still netted like 300K. I lost a million, million, like a million plus coins today, right? I told you guys about that Blanc. Lost 250K there. Had two, three Overmarses at 550. Sold these at 440. Uh, so lost like th maybe 400K there. I uh, had three Rui Costas at 400, right? This, go this card is 349 right now, right? He's 349K, just dead, not even selling, right? 50K undercut, so I lost 100K there. And then I had a Del Piero. Um, I had a Del Piero, guys, that I had at, uh, I sold at 870, and I had this at, I think, 1.01 uh, .01 mil. So, I mean, I woke up to just a huge loss. Like, I probably lost a million coins today, so whatever I made... I lost and, and it's just crazy for me to even just be on the market and see the lack of demand. It's not even about the prices. It's the fact that like none of these cards are even selling. Um, when you go onto the market, you'd expect these cards to be way more than they are. And the demand just generally isn't there. I, yeah, I mean, like yesterday I saw eight Pele's on the market and Pele last year for weeks was like 14, 15 mil. He's not even like, you know, he's not even selling at 11 mil. Um, you know, do you guys think it's because the market has less coins generally? Or do you feel like there's literally a demand issue where you just don't care about primes anymore? What I will say about the primes that I that I find, like, for example, I sold Dennis Burkamp at 850 yesterday, right? He's 690. Um, what I would say about the primes, and I guess the way that I feel is like, I think there's a I think there's an underlying problem with EA never changing um the images, the the stats. In a way, in a way, I think it's 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 very problematic that we don't ever have any change with that. I feel like it takes away from their demand heavily. Um, I feel like because EA don't actually change around any of the prime stats every year or the dynamics, people just don't have as much interest in trying them. Um, maybe that's a crazy take, but, you know, it's it's just kind of how it looks, at least. Like, it even looks that way. When you just, for me, in, in terms of a, a consumer and playing this game, in terms of demand, like, I definitely care less about these cards uh, because I, I EA don't really change that much um, would be the main kind of, like, thing that hey, turns me off from using them. But... Yeah, just to even see their prices. Like, a lot of these guys' prices today are usually prices that we would see, like, a month or two months into the game, right? And maybe it's a thing of pack weight. Maybe it's supply. For example, I packed an icon this year. Maybe it's just easier to pack these guys. But even supply-wise, like, yesterday when I was watching the market, I didn't see many of these cards in the market. So I was like, okay, these cards are really rare. You know, pack weight is really bad. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, it is incredible. Like, Prime Puskas already 4.2. Um... It is incredible to see, like, guys, this Socrates sold at 1.8 yesterday. He's 1.1. Like, imagine if you bought that card for that price. Like, imagine how many coins you're losing. We have Garinchas just being listed for open bid. Um, you know, Van Basten, 608. Wow, that's low. Prime Van Basten, I mean, this is an in-demand card. 608. And these guys, like, a lot of these guys I want to try out. Um, incredible prices these guys are. You know, Prime Cole is 445 already. You know, you, 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 this is probably, in, in a way, even though it's bad for the, the market in terms of the power curve, because a lot of these cards being cheap is going to drag down a lot of the market. In a way, this is also a positive for Prime Icon SBCs, though. 
the fact that these guys are already dropping this low and are this price, it should actually encourage EA to not overprice a lot of the prime SPCs. That's what we would at least hope. Um, because to be honest, when you look at these prices, I mean, there's absolutely no reason for EA to make these, uh, you know, super expensive. There, there's no reason. Uh, EA should not be overpricing these guys at all this time around because these guys on the market, you know, clearly don't have that much demand, right? We like Prime Blanc is not even selling at 800k, so it's it's absolutely incredible to see. And I and I guess I wonder what the what the real reason why they're so cheap is. It's it's very odd um, why people are just not interested. You know, I guess Cannavaro's holding price a lot better than than Blanc, which is interesting. And obviously, the big boys like Maldini are always going to be really expensive. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it, though, guys. I mean we're we're pretty liquid at this stage. We don't have many uh, many many coins or cards, you know. I think to to get rid of. I I do have my club stock of a lot of team of the weeks, but I'm not really getting rid of that. And then in terms of fodder, I have a lot of fodder at the moment, but um. I'm saving fodder. I'm going to save because I think we're definitely going to do the uh, Bundesliga center mid. That's for sure. But yeah, if you guys look in terms of fodder, we are just loaded at the moment. And we're going to we're gonna hold on to it for as long as we can because I'm waiting till we get a big boy SBC. Although, I think my game just froze. I think my game just froze. Did my game just freeze? Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be the video. I was going to show off to you guys all my fodder, but it's looking like EA is telling us our time is over here today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys in a video later. Peace.